In some shots, like the blackberry plant, you can see that the shots look almost the same. Are you looking to get those sweet macro shots, but you don't have a 13 Pro or 13 Pro Max? Well, you may be in luck because the app I'm talking about today lets you do just that. This app is called the Halide Mark II. And as of right now, it's only available on iPhones 8 and newer. The Halide Mark II app is geared towards people who want to take more control of their smartphone camera. This can be seen in the features like manual focus, as well as having a histogram present in the camera finder. You may be wondering how this is possible on earlier iPhones considering they don't have a macro lens. Well, the developer named Lux Optics says that this is done using upscaling. This upscaling is done with an AI that they've designed, which I would say is actually pretty good. At first, I really wasn't sure how this was going to go because the wide angle on most iPhones is usually best in focus at a pretty far distance. And at that point, I was wondering just how good this upscaling was, which at this point I thought would mean that the macro photography feature wouldn't have very much detail. But I would have to say in my testing, the Halide Mark II performed really well. Of course, most of these situations were done in really well lit areas, so I think this has a lot to do with it. One thing I do have to mention, if you're looking to take macro video, that's not going to be supported with this app. However, this is something that's supported with the 13 Pro series. So if for some reason you're really looking to take macro video, that may be an option for you. I should also mention that this app is not free. However, it's pretty inexpensive coming in at $12 a year if you choose the subscription model. If you don't like paying subscriptions, they'll offer you another feature where you can buy the app for $50 outright and then you own it forever. If you're looking to try it out and see how it works on your iPhone without paying, that's okay because they offer a seven day free trial that you can cancel with no additional fees, which I would encourage you to try it out because there are a lot of features that I didn't talk about in this video, but you're probably wondering how this stacks up against the integrated macro mode on the 13 Pro series. In my testing, I'm using the 13 Pro with the stock macro mode in the camera app, and then the phone I'm using for the Halide Mark II app is an iPhone 10. Max. It should be important to say that the camera sensor on the 13 Pro is newer, so that may have something to do with the image quality, but usually the wide angle lens is better anyway, so I feel like this test is still pretty fair. Overall, it seems that Apple's macro mode does a lot of digital zoom when it comes to using the macro lens. Since it has a 2 centimeter focusing distance, you can get a lot closer to a lot of your subject matter. But this can also mean that your image gets pretty grainy the more you zoom in. Which on the camera app for iPhone, it'll let you zoom in up to 15 times for photos and then 9 times for video when using the macro mode. When using the Halide Mark II on the XS Max in my testing, I was actually really impressed. In some shots, like the Blackberry plant, you can see that the shots look almost the same. I wanted to get closer with the 13 Pro, but I was really having trouble because it seemed like it couldn't distinguish whether or not I wanted to focus on the branch that was closer or the branch that was farther away. Because what would happen is every time I got the 13 Pro right where I wanted it, it would just bump out of focus and wanted to focus on another part of the plant. I would like to note that there are some cases where the Halide Mark II shows its weaknesses. When I took these phones indoors and I wanted to take pictures of screens in macro mode, it seemed that the Halide Mark II just really couldn't provide that much for us. This may vary depending on how much you need to take macro pictures of screens, but the iPhone 13 Pro definitely wins with its native macro mode in this scenario. As you can see here, when I take the pictures from the same distance, there's just not even a comparison. The Halide Mark II just can't focus in that much given the hardware it's working with. And given that it's using the wide angle lens from the XS Max, I think that the camera just isn't close enough to be able to pick up the pixels the same way the 13 Pro can. But if this really doesn't bother you that much and you're looking to take macro photos of things like plants or maybe your animals, then I think this will work out completely fine. That's about all I've got for macro mode on these iPhones. I hope you learned something new and make sure to check out the rest of my channel if you're interested in more tech videos.